Well, hello and welcome. It is time once again to try to fix something. And today on the workbench, I'm going to be taking a look at a uh, motherboard of a PS5. Uh, this, I believe, is an EDM031. Uh, so one of the later of the FAT series uh, main boards. Um, now this one was sent in by a viewer of the channel who uh, also runs a repair shop. And he wanted me to take a look at it, and I, I agreed to. So I thought it might be interesting. Uh, apparently, it, it originally would um, draw like 240 milliamps and then drop to 2 milliamps, and I'm, I'm imagining it would not turn on. So, uh, he tells me he has changed the south bridge, and then it would just draw like 6 milliamps and do nothing. Um, he changed this RT5126, and there was no change. And I also I did notice that the 5127, for, you know, the power for the... Uh, SSD controller on the side that's been changed also and it's had an HDMI port so um, basically at this point it's pretty dead if it's drawing like six milliamps and that's it you know, that, that tells you your south bridge is not waking up and doing anything it's not loading its software executing any code um, you know firing up the other rails out of this uh, RT5126 it's not doing any of that it's just sitting there so that's where we're going to start. Actually, I want to take a look with you. I've been looking around the board, looking for anything obvious uh, in the areas where I know it's had some work. And let me get my microscope in position here. I'll show you what I've seen so far. We're going to be looking up underneath the south bridge. Uh, and I think this is the second south bridge that's been on there. If you look on that left-hand side, we have uh, some some bridge solder balls and I'm not sure about that area there on the right you have to get a, let me get a pointer or something right in here I can't tell if that's bridged or not could be could be some flux we got a oop, solder ball floating around there just roll down in there um, but this over here is definitely a bridge so that's a good place to start. We're going to pull this uh, south bridge off. Uh, you know, take a look uh, under here to see if we got any damage to the uh, solder mask. Is that why they why they bridge damaged solder mask? I don't know. We we'll have to get this chip off and see what it looks like underneath there. I don't see. I've looked around from the other sides. I haven't seen any other obvious you know bridge solder balls, but there could be some. Um, also, there's some question. As well not whether or not this was originally a 69 GG or a 61 GG. It's got a 61 GG now, and also the uh, the uh, firmware, the NORA chip holding the firmware has been swapped out. Um, he did include another one, so I'm not sure which one this one is. If this is what the what was originally on it, or if it was a uh, one he pulled off another board, I have to find that out later. Um, but step one is going to be get this south bridge off. And eliminate that bridge right there on the corner so let me get my preheater set up I like to use a preheater you don't have to but I like to use a preheater so let's use a little less heat on the board um, as far as hot air goes so let me get set up for that
All right, well, our south bridge has been replaced. Um, and I'm sure you noticed I had to do quite a bit of uh, solder mass repair underneath that south bridge before I was confident enough to try to install another one. So this is not the same one. That's one uh, that I had on hand. This is what this is what came off. Probably still good. I'm not sure, but I wanted to put one that I was uh, reasonably certain was still good. Um, that's installed. It looks good from the side. I don't see any merged balls. So I think we're good there. I think we're at a point, and I'm sorry about the noise. My preheater is still cooling off over here. But I didn't feel like waiting for it to, you know, cool off so I could turn it off. Um, it has a really loud fan. Let's see how much current this draws off a 12-volt supply, shall we? I think we're ready. Let's see what kind of current draw we get over there on channel 1. 320, come back down. Yeah. Yeah, I think that might work. Is that all it was? Just the south bridge? Hmm. Let's see that again. One more time. Up to 320. And then come back down. Okay. That that looks somewhat healthy to me. Um, okay. I think, like I mentioned off the top, um, all I got was the circuit board. So let me go through my uh, closet over here of uh, parts and pieces and see if I can find a chassis to slip this into. And we'll just see if it'll turn on. Well, I did manage to find a chassis to put this in. I needed a 1200 series chassis to, to put this uh, board in, and I had one. So we are ready to see if this will do something more than just beeping at us. Um, let's see what it does. Blue light. I didn't put a fan in it, but that's okay. That's progress. It tries to turn on. Storage repair, white light, yeah, storage repair, sorry. I think she's going to come back from the brink of death. Yeah, there we go. Come on back. Hmm. I'm not sure what it's doing now. I hope it's not looking for the Blu-ray drive, because we don't have one. Hmm. Was it trying to connect to the network? What was it trying to do? Let's see if it'll, if the controller will connect to it. Right, I can't do a lot of testing. Drop my controller. I can't do a lot of testing, so I can at least check that. Let's see, do we get an orange light that we're charging? We do, that's good. Yeah, all right. I think she's gonna come back. Uh, that's about all I can do with this thing, unfortunately, because I don't have a drive for it. It's a new one there. Okay. Well, so we just needed a, um, a South Bridge installed a little bit uh, better, maybe. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't expect it to be that simple, but if that's all it is, that's all it is. Um, like I said, I don't have a drive, so I cannot install a game. I might see if I can get it to run some of the games that are on there, but um, I think she's going to be fine now. Well, I'll get this one sent back to the owner, and um, I hope you liked that one. Thought it was somewhat interesting, educational, entertaining, any of the above. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in that very next repair. So long for now.